예, 오늘 머크의 마이클 헥마이어 박사님 모시고 어, 디스플레이 산업 전반에 대해서 얘기해 보는 시간을 갖도록 하겠습니다. 안녕하십니까? Yeah, thank you very much for having the opportunity to talk to you. So I'm, I'm very excited to be here in Korea this time. Uh, actually, we had to take a break from the travel for almost three years, and, and this is my first visit to Korea in uh, three years. 한국에 자주 오셨어요? Absolutely. I, I think I, I didn't count precisely, but maybe I'm, I'm here more than 40 times already. And as you can imagine, after three years not visiting this country, this is a very busy schedule for me. It's crowded with both customer visits, conference presentation at the IMID. I will give an invited keynote speech. Uh, and then, of course, internal meetings to meet colleagues, to meet the team. And I all, also will visit our manufacturing site. So it's very comprehensive schedule this time. 지금 디스플레이 쪽을 계속 일을 해 오셨는데 어 제가 본격적으로 좀 질문을 좀 드리면 어 최근에 그 디스플레이 그 전체적인 시장 환경에 대해서는 어떻게 평가를 하십니까? So currently we we are in a not so easy situation I have to say and this is triggered by some macroeconomic effects. So maybe let me mention a few of these. Uh, the global crisis triggered by uh, Russia and, and Ukraine conflict, overall inflation, COVID still giving some uncertainty into some areas. So what we see is a, a current difficult situation, but we, we are convinced, you know, in, in the midterm, the display industry will go back to a, a growth track uh, as we did see two years ago. And we, we look at this as a little interruption. 어, 지금 한국 고객사들하고 협력도 긴밀하게 계속 하고 있는 걸로 알고 있는데 그 국내 고객사들하고의 뭐 소재 개발이라든지 또 비즈니스 현화, 현황은 어떻게 되고 있나요? Yeah, Korea is a key country for us yeah, from an electronics perspective, but also of course in particular from a display perspective. And we we are present in the country for more than 30 years already, and we're pioneering the liquid crystal development with Korean partners. About 30 years ago, with the first lab here in, in the Seoul, Seoul area. Yeah? So, since then, we opened, of course, a couple of offices and manufacturing sites and built very strong and, and very intense, trustful relations with Korean customers. Yeah? Uh, Korea, as, as a country, is, is critical for the display industry, as Korea is pioneering the OLED technology. And that holds true both for, for the small size application like mobile phone. But also for the TV application, yeah. So therefore, for us, Korea is, is very, very crucial, and we, we look at it as a development, but also a manufacturing country for Merck. Merck's 그 사업 구조를 보면 뭐 electronics, healthcare, 뭐 생명과학, 뭐 이렇게 크게 세 가지로 나눠져 있는 걸로 알고 있고 또 electronics 안에는 뭐 디스플레이, 뭐 반도체, 뭐또 알료라든지 특수 가스 뭐 이런 사업부가 있는 걸로 알고 있는데 이 사업부 안에 그 디스플레이 이, 이 사업의 어떤 성장성이랄까요, 뭐 비중이랄까요 이런 것들에 대해서 뭐좀 개괄적으로 얘기를 좀 해주실 수 있습니까? So. You, you captured it right. Yeah, we have those three business sectors. All are very active in, in Korea. And in electronics, uh, we focusing, of course, on semiconductors, semiconductor materials and, and DSS. Display uh, focus uh, today in Korea very much on the OLED material. But we, we still see very active LCD development in Korea, focus on some high high-end products like IT, gaming monitors. So here, Korean uh, players are very, very successful still, and we we helping them with our most advanced materials technology. Uh, in in OLED, we have a very strong portfolio of couple of materials which we selling already today, like whole transport or host material TMM. Uh, and also, we want to further develop our OLED capabilities into new technologies and new stack like emitter or even high efficiency. High efficiency blue. Yeah. So overall, the display part is is quite significant in, in Korea, and uh, as I hinted already, there is liquid crystal, OLED as a focus topic, but then also beyond quantum materials like quantum dot uh, QD PCC material is becoming a, a new topic where we also working very closely with one Korean customer to help that technology further maturing. 순차적으로 좀 여쭤보면. 그 액정을 처음 만든 회사가 머크 아닙니까? 
So historically, we were pioneering the field. Yeah, I mean, the liquid crystal display was invented uh, in in US uh, originally, but from a material side, Merck pioneered together with one Japanese company, and at that time, one company in Switzerland, yeah, which gave up already a long time ago. And I think it's fair to say yeah, we were one of the very strong contributors to the liquid crystal development with our materials, and, and still today are the leading manufacturer of liquid crystal materials. 그냥 제가 잘 모르는 입장에서 봤을 때는 이제 디스플레이 쪽에서 보면 LCD 쪽은 한국에서도 이제 생산을 거의 다 접는 분위기고 중국으로도 많이 넘어갔지만 중국은 역시 OLED로 많이 넘어가고 있는 분위기인데 어 액정의 시장에 대해서는 어떻게 앞으로 어떻게 전망을 하십니까? 계속 성장할 수 있습니까? 아니면 뭐 델타에 계속 가게 되는 걸로 보시는 겁니까? So this, this is very very good remark and, and, and indeed of course the liquid crystal was the pioneering technology and made the display from, from bulky yeah, cathode ray tube to flat. Uh, this was the big, the big achievement. And uh, uh, I, I think you're, you're right. Yeah, Korea is focusing on OLED on the one side. On the other side, still, as I hinted already, some premium LCD projects uh, are still on and, and very active in Korea. Yeah? But mainstream LCD development is in China these days, Taiwan still uh, still quite strong, and some smaller niches uh, even uh, being served out of Japan. Yeah? So, still four countries active, but with a clear dominating role of, of China already. Yeah? Uh, for the LC market, this means that we still see, on average, and now I don't talk about the, the very recent dip of the market, on average, we see slight growth of the volume of the, this business. Uh, however, the, the value is, is more flat to slightly decreasing. Yeah, that's uh, correct. 실제로 머크의 그 액정 사업 매출도 뭐 그런 아까 시장의 흐름하고 동일하게 가고 있는 겁니까? So the, the, the revenue of display solutions, which is our total total business, is communicated on a quarterly basis. It's pretty much in line with what what I what I, uh, what I explained. Uh, we are in, in this current deep situation and expect that the market will recover and come back to the normal slight growth situation as I explained uh, earlier. The growth driver will of course be OLED and, and future display technologies rather than uh, LC. 그럼 OLED 얘기를 좀 한번 해 보면 최근에 저희가 이제 파악하기로는 소형에서 국내 고객사들 대상으로 뭐 어떤 새로운 층에 뭐, 세, 뭐 새로운 재료를 이제 머크 제품이 들어간다거나 하는 이제 어 사실을 저희도 발견했던 적이 여러 번 있는데 어 지금 아까 고효율 청색 소자 말씀을 해주셨어요. 고효율 청색 어 재료에 대해서 어떤 재료를 말씀하시는 겁니까? 예를 들어서 뭐 TADF라든지 뭐, 뭐 다양한 어떤 뭐 기술들도 이쪽 그어이 효율을 높이기 위한 활동들을 하고 있는데 머크는 어떻게 접근하고 계십니까? So this is very important. As I hinted already, we have strong OLED business today already in certain layers. But the overall OLED device is a stack of up to 10 or sometimes even 15 different materials. And every stack has a particular uh, activity for the overall efficiency, lifetime and color and uh, brightness of the device. Uh, in in the middle part of it is the so-called emitter layer. So that is where the light is really generated, wherever the magic is happening. And basically, there are three colors needed to, to make a, a full-fledged display. Red, green, and blue. Yeah? And, and the status of red and green is pretty advanced in the industry. And people and, and our, our customers are pretty satisfied with the status of red and green. However, blue is, is not yet where, where they want to be. And, and there's one reason for this, that the blue wavelengths has a higher energy than the red and green. And this high energy is, has a tendency, of course, to deteriorate the molecules that generate the light. And that kind of reduces the lifetime of, of the overall device. Yeah. So now there are a couple of different technology approaches, phosphorescence, hyperphosphorescence, hyperfluorescence, and et cetera. I don't, I uh, think we should go into all the details here, yeah, but we have a high efficiency blue where we do some work in-house, where we also partner with some other company to find the optimized package. And what, what do we mean by packages? 
you need a, a so-called host material for, for this blue emitter and a dopant. And, and this overall combination, we think, is a very promising approach to, to drive the gap that the industry is still seeking for the blue lifetime and efficiency. Yeah. 지금 그 머크 사업 안에서 액정보다 OLED 쪽은 당연히 성장성이 높으니까 그쪽에 더 집중을 하시는 것 같은데 실제로 어떻습니까? 뭔가 수익적인 측면에서 매출적인 측면에서 이미 OLED가 액정을 뛰어넘었습니까? 아니면 뭐 아직 못 뛰어넘은 상태입니까? 혹시 못 뛰어넘었다면 언제 정도에 확 올라갈 거라고 생각하십니까? So from a market perspective, I'm not talking about Merck yet. Uh, the value of the OLED material already did exceed the value of liquid crystal material, uh, I think like one year or two years ago. So the market-wise, OLED material already exceeded the LC market. Uh, from a Merck perspective, I, I ask for your understanding, we don't comment on such detailed segments, yeah, but what I can disclose is OLED today for Merck is still smaller than liquid crystals. 퀀텀 단스에 대해서 좀 질문을 좀 이것은 PL 아 그러니까 EL에 들어가는 재료를 말씀하시는 겁니까? Yeah, yeah, this is EL. Yeah. So electroluminescence means you you drive the uh, the emission with an organic layer, and then quantum dot is used to convert the, the light uh, accordingly to the display specifications. So this needs uh, formulations of quantum dots that can be applied in in a manufacturing process. And we are working on, on these formulations for different colors of quantum dots. This is a very difficult technology. But you are right that the color of such a quantum dot is specified by the size of the dot. And it's the art of the, the chemical process to control the growth of these particles. But then not only the growth, but you need to modify the surface of the particle, embed it in a solu soluble system that it can be applied in the display process. And only if those particles have similar size, yeah, what we call that very small polydiversity, the dispersity, sorry, then you get the right color, which is sharp enough to deliver the spectrum that the display requires. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, not easy, but uh, I think companies like Merck can handle such complexity. And this is our task to bring high complex technology in a way that it can be manufactured in a cost-effective manner and be applied in the electronics world. This is our, our business. 그래서 모든 그 퀀텀 닷 같은 경우는 모든 색상에 대해서 모든 레이어에 대해서 다 대응을 하실 계획이십니까? 아니면 어떤 특정 레이어, 특정 색상에 대해서만 좀 하실 생각이십니까? So currently we're focusing on two colors, but the business model is still under development. So it could be two, it could be focused on one at the end. But important is we, we are part of this new technology. 만약에 이게 지금 개발이 되고 있는 거라면 소형에서 먼저 이루어질까요? 대형에서 먼저 갈까요? So what we see from the customer side is a very clear focus on TV in, in first glance. And, and then they will of course check the market reaction, the success of this, work of course on improving the technology and make up their mind, you know, go more IT. I, I don't think it will go into mobile devices anytime soon. But the, the large size display is clear focus today of quantum dot uh, display. 이번에 그 IMID 키노트 스피치 하시러 오셨는데 그 어떤 주제로 좀 얘기를 하실지 간략하게 소개를 좀 해주시죠. So the, the, the key headline for us is really this time sustainability, and we, we try to introduce this topic into the display world. I, I will report about Merck's approach, how Merck wants to become carbon neutral in 2040, what we are doing today already to, to drive that how we help our customers uh, to, to do their part of, of the carbon neutrality. Uh, in OLED, for example, we, we're focusing on e efficient materials yeah, that reduces the energy consumption of device. Uh, we focus on localization, so we do manufacturing like sublimation, where we in invested 25 million euro more recently. We do that in Korea, more closer to the customer, yeah, which is reducing transportation, which is increasing, of course, customer development uh, speed. Uh, and, and this kind of framing of the topic sustainability for me is the headline of the uh, uh, keynote. 오늘 인터뷰 응해 주셔서 고맙습니다. 다음에 또 한국 오시면 또 그때 또 디스플레이 업계에 대해서 좀 얘기를 또 해주시면 좋겠습니다. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity and I hope next time will be shorter than in two years. Yeah. <laughs> 고맙습니다. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.